Hello guys, welcome to this new video. Uh, yes, the title image is a little bit clickbait. I wanted you to take part in this a little experiment where I use the Cosmos possibility to use a start image and an end image. And I combined this with an old workflow I did some time ago where I load images from a folder and I step through those images to create transition between one image to the next image and then step through the images so that I create transition between all the images of an image sequence in a folder. And I thought this is perfect to try to combine this workflow from the past with this new Cosmos functionality, start image and image uh, on the right. And in the middle, you see two tests I did with this technique. So Cosmos is uh, transitioning between a sequence of images. And you see there are quite interesting effects. And here I did another example of this uh, walking person in the woods. Cosmos has some problems with the walking, uh, but some, some sequences are quite nice. But you see this uh, fade between those scenes. In, in general, I really like the results. It is not an infinite and a possibility to infinitely animate uh, in a perfect uh, smooth way but it has a great potential for artistic animations and i i am sure in the future nvidia is uh, optimizing uh, this feature and maybe the the transition between those two stills will be better so i will guide you through my workflow now and i show you the frames which i use to create those uh, animations by the way these images are created with flux i can share this workflow as well and the prompt i will put everything on my patreon page and you can download it there let's do those animations to the side okay so the workflow first maybe let's talk about the principle i'm using here so Cosmos gives the possibility to create a video between start image and end image. So you can define those images. And I have a folder here with several images. You see here, this is image one and this is image two. And the workflow now cycles through the sequence of images. So it sends image one to the start image port of uh, Cosmos and image two to the end image port. And then the sequence steps up. So the first, the start image for Cosmos will be the second image and the end image will be the third image. And so we count through the whole sequence and define start and end image again and again. The problem with this is the start image and the end image every time uh, will be part of the output animation. So the start and the end image are doubled. After the first cycle, a full sequence of images, I change the flow of action here and I split the first uh, image of the sequence which gets exported the end frame and the start frame are not doubled you get a smooth animation and for the rest of the cycles the in uh, the first image gets split away you don't get doubled images in your sequence this can be used for an infinite number of images and let's go into the function so at the start there is an incrementer note you have to put it to zero when starting the animation this will go to the cr load image list node where of the folder moon in the input directory gets opened and it will output the first frame in this folder the seed as well goes into this uh, load image list node but it will be increased by one so from this folder, we open the second image from the sequence. Every cycle, this 
workflow gets executed, the seed gets incremented by one. So first one is zero, second one is one, and so on. To render this workflow cycle by cycle, you need to enable the instant feature down here so that it gets executed until the folder is done. So, okay, let's follow the way of our images. So uh, the start image from this folder gets filled into the Cosmos image to video latent and the end image, which is one step further, gets delivered into the end image port. It's a normal Cosmos workflow. And then Cosmos is uh, creating the transition between those uh, frames. And it simply gets outputted to the image save node. But since the first frame and the second frame are included and for the next cycle, those frames at the start and end would double, I check if it is the first time this gets executed. And if it is the first time, every frame gets delivered to the image save node. If it is not the first time of this workflow, I will split this batch of images. I will split off the first image of this and only deliver the rest of the image. So we get no double images between those cycles. And this is as well put to this folder and then add it to the whole sequence. So this is the whole workflow. I will put it on my Patreon so that you can download. This logic can be used for everything where you want to uh, create a transition between two states of images. So for example, you can, uh, in the past video I did with this, you uh, it was used to make a interpolation of an image sequence. So this is with this, it is possible to create infinite transitions between all the frames of sequences with no problems. VRAM, because it all gets executed step by step. If you have questions, put it in the description below. You will find everything on my Patreon with the base membership. I will upload the base frames as well for the walk cycle and for the planet animation. And yeah, I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.